Dear colleagues and friends, it is an honor to address you at the UN Roundtable of the 2023 Global Media and Information Literacy Week. The theme of this year's commemoration is a timely and critical one, as the online landscape has only worsened since last year's gathering. A key factor is that some of the largest digital platforms, instead of stepping up to address online harm, have lowered their guardrails, either by reducing or decimating their trust and safety teams. This is especially worrying as our colleagues around the world continue to report grave impacts of weaponized mis- and disinformation and hate speech. They flag information wars which distort actual events on the battlefield or in humanitarian arenas. And disinformation is targeting our peacekeepers too. Lies that result in division, polarization, and even violence. Online posts as well are clearly turning anti-Semitic, racist, or Islamophobic. We've seen narratives created around climate change as well, designed to delay climate action. And we're even seeing conspiracies circulating around the SDGs, developed to generate controversy around our blueprint for a better world. We are worried how this febrile online atmosphere is undermining democratic processes, a challenge we cannot afford to ignore as we head into a bumper election year in 2024, when more than 2 billion voters are eligible to go to the polls. Meanwhile, a rapid rise in generative AI has set off new alarm bells in the information integrity community. Disinformation actors have been given a potent, low-cost tool, making it easier to create sophisticated deepfakes or AI-generated news sites programmed with false narratives. Disinformation and hate speech can now be created at greater scale and can be more easily personalized, leaving absolutely no fingerprints. The Secretary General has made it crystal clear. We cannot go on like this. We need to become more nimble, more targeted and strategic in our use of digital media and in our information literacy tactics, such as pre-bunking. At the Department of Global Communications, this will be a key preoccupation as we adapt the United Nations Verified Initiative to address climate disinformation. Moreover, as the UN system, we need to continue advocating to all other stakeholders to invest in robust digital literacy drives. Our aim should be to empower users of all ages to better understand how digital platforms work, how their personal data might be used, and to identify and respond to mis- and disinformation and hate speech. Particular attention should be given to ensuring that young people, adolescents, and children are fully aware of their rights in online spaces. Such user empowerment will be one of the key principles of the UN Code of Conduct on Information Integrity on Digital Platforms, which my team and I are working on. The code will be presented at the Summit of the Future in September 2024 and will set a global gold standard to make the digital sphere more humane, and it will call for a firm global commitment to information integrity. We look forward to consulting with all of you as we develop the code at un.org slash information integrity. Let's keep coming together to discuss, find ways forward, and put our vision into practice.